and we're live. Hello, welcome to Cooking with the Vibe. Yes, we're Cooking with the Vibe. We're going to be making fall soup today. Lovely, right? So we first need to make bone broth, and we're going to be showing you how to make bone broth with meat. <laughs> and this is her specialty, not mine. So how do we do this? Are you talking about these? Yeah, so what kind of meat is that? Oh, uh, check. <laughs> Beef shank bone in? Shank? Like shank shank? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's similar to oxtails. Mm. Yes. Because it's got, it's got a lot of bone marrow. It does, and it's really great for bossing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? I'm what do we need? All of them. Do you want? Would you like one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do we need? For the fall soup? Yes. Oh, just put it in. I am going to need water, but... But... We'll just let it cook for a moment. We'll give some real beef flavor. <laughs> okay. If they'll fit. So we're using um, the Instant Pot. Yes, the Instant Pot. So did you want to kind of explain a little bit about the fall soup since this is your specialty and not mine? What? No. This is your spotlight, not mine. I didn't, I didn't know that. <laughs> I told you. Oh, hello. Okay. So. We're going to cook the meat. And we're going to cook it for, because it's a pressure cooker, I don't have to cook it all day to get the real nutrients out of the bone broth, the, the bone marrow. Um, so I'm going to let that sizzle just for a few minutes to get some nice um, meat flavor. And then I'm going to add water. And when I do that, hmm. So, Stefan. Yes. Do you think that we should add the spices to the bone broth or just um, wait until we start with the fall soup? No, we'll add everything because we're moving it into the fall soup. So. Can you get out the garlic? Oh. I am also going to add Chinese five spice. So garlic, how much garlic do we use? Um, Chinese five spice. I like lots of garlic, so two cloves. Granulated onions. Dry. Um, and <laughs> mushroom stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is this? Okay, umami. Multi purpose umami seasoning. And then we have. So reishi, shiitake, maitake, mushrooms. Three different mushrooms. Spice it. And she walks away, of course. So those are the five ingredients you need for this, this, the spices. So let, we're going to let that sizzle, I guess. Hey, 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 come on. Come on. All right, so how much... So did you explain this? No, I did not. Okay, so um, I have from herbalcom.com. That's where I get most of my herbs because uh, they sell it in bulk for pretty inexpensive. They're actually the distributor for most of the companies that most people buy for, like um, Mountain Rose and uh, Monterey Bay Spice Company, um, as for examples. So this, I have reishi, shiitake, and mitake mushrooms. And I just put this together because they're so healthy. And mushrooms are great in fall soup. I think so. And then you showed them this, right? Yes, I did. The umami mushrooms. And I found this at Trader Joe's. And this has kosher 
salt, dried onions, ground mustard seed, uh, porcini mushroom powder, white button mushroom powder, crushed red pepper, black pepper, and dried thyme. So, and uh, did you went over the other spices? I did. Okay. And then we're also going to add a little bit of this because I just think that's wonderful. You hear it sizzling. Mmm. Smells good too. Mm-hmm. Let me show you. So I'm not sure how much. Can I see? Yep. How much water you need? Correct. Yeah. Shall we cook the other side now? You know, we're not trying to be anything professional here. We're just inviting you into our home. <laughs> oh my God. We are inviting you into our home. <laughs> You're cooking with us. Oh, my goodness. All right. Come on. Yeah. Oh, we, oh, didn't, we didn't put any oil in it, did we? No, we didn't. It's okay. So we... A little bit? Because this is so healthy. So... This right here is a mixture of, yes, it's a repurposed container. We love repurposing containers. Mm -hmm. um, but this in here has avocado oil and ghee. Now, let me tell you a little bit of what I learned about ghee when I read about it. Ghee. That's about two, right? Yeah, that's about two. Ghee has um, this ability to go into your cells and shove out bad oils from your cells so that it, just the good oils are left, which is which is a really good thing. So it is just part of our healing process that we've done. Did you put a lot? Because it's only supposed to be a little bit of that. Well, I thought it had like a, a thing. <laughs> a thing. A thing. I'll just put more garlic. How much is a little bit? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, take that out. Mm, we, we should be good. All right. So, need more garlic? I got it right here. It's okay. Oh. I accidentally spilled a lot. Hey, hey. That is dirty. You gotta put that flavor in the garlic. Did you get yes, all three of these? you're in our home. Did you get all three of these in there? <laughs> no, I did not. I did not get all right, so we're going to get the water. So now that it's cooked and the garlic kind of had time to sizzle, the reason why that you want to put garlic first usually is because when you cook garlic, when you fry garlic, it brings out its flavor. Same thing with the, the onion granules and all the other spices. So if you just put a little bit of the amount that you're supposed to put in, let's say if you have... A uh, fourth of a teaspoon, just put in just like half of that and let it sizzle for a little bit because it'll bring out the flavors. And then you put in the rest after you're uh, ready to put it in. Now, can you get me out a cutting board? Yep. Well, I know that when you go to a pho restaurant, they don't have sauteed onions and things like that. And I need my knife too. Um, but this is not a restaurant. This is my home. And I love onions in my soup. So, can you see what I'm doing? Do you want to, um, adjust that down a little bit? There we go. Now, this is something that, um, that we learned for peeling and dicing onions very easily. Do you want to do it? You want to do it? You want me to just um, keep doing it? Just keep doing it. Okay. Makes it much easier. Mm -hmm. So when it's half like this, it's easier to peel. Mm. Can you smell this? That's mm -hmm. your little mistake. Made it smell good. That's perfect. <laughs> so, 
what happens when life gives you lemons, right? You make lemonade. It's the same thing as what happens when you when a mistake is made. You do what you can, and you work with it. It's the same thing as cooking. You make a mistake, or you so-called mistake. You work with it, and you make it work in your favor because you're the one that controls your own. You call it fate, right? I like to call that the shove and hug. <laughs> Either you shove it or you hug it. Either way, you got to touch it. So <laughs> it's like life. You got to shove it or hug it. You like it or you don't. So what I'm doing is I'm making the cuts at the ends that you cut off like this. And what that does is it gives you this, and then when you cut it this way, <laughs> you have to go a little bit lower than right. when you cut it like this, then you're getting your dices just naturally. We found this knife uh, at um, at a show, and um, I have been looking for a knife like this for a long time. You know those cooking shows where the guy is out in the woods. And all you hear is sizzle and him cutting and, and his knife. Oh, my God. I just love those shows. And so when I saw this knife, I said, I got to have it. It was, what, 150 These knives are I think so. lifetime warranty, though, or something. Yeah. And he said, no more cutting knives, no more using it like this, like we do with the other knives because it's perfectly balanced. And so you're just gonna grab it and cut this way. And it just is it beautiful. It fits the hand perfectly. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So far we have, what, one fourth teaspoon of Chinese five blend, five spices. How much of the reishi, shiitake, and matake mushrooms did you put in? About half a teaspoon? Uh, about three, half to three fourths. Okay. And then of the multi-purpose umami? Um, one fourth to a half. And you could put up to one to two tablespoons of granulated onions. It doesn't really matter how much that you put in there, right? So we have the yeah, beef shake. Yeah, whatever you like. The beef shank bone in. And then we're putting in some chicken for a little bit of flavor. Uh -huh. Boneless breast. Mm -hmm. Yummy. And then we also have the yummy beef carne taco meat that we're going to be sticking in when. Now? Now? Now. Yes, because when the bone, when the bone is done with the... Um, uh, the bone marrow, cooking the bone marrow out and all its nutrients. And we've got the soup done too. It's just kind of an all in one step. You could do it if you're not sure you want to use all the bone broth with your soup, then I would recommend cook, cooking your bone broth with just salt and a little bit of pepper, a um, couple vegetables <clears throat> like. Put in one whole celery stick, a carrot if you want. All of it. For nutrients. No, just half. And um, and then cook that separately so that you have that broth to use for gravies and whatever else you want to use. Uh, but this is going to be totally for bone broth soup. And then what we're going to do. Oh, you're need. Excuse. Yeah, I need to. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our kitchen. <laughs> so when the when the soup is done, we are going to put in extra firm tofu and these um, green onions um, and cilantro. Did we? Did you add salt to this yet? I did not add salt because I might. Might have made a mistake with that one too. Uh -huh. 
You're so funny. <laughs> Human aspect mistake. <laughs> you know what's interesting is that he doesn't ever make these mistakes when he's off camera. So he is just slightly nervous. And I think it's hilarious. Okay. Very funny. Yeah, shut me under the bus, why don't you? Welcome to our home. Welcome to our home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're so funny. And you here. All right. Are we done? I believe that's everything. So did you want to go over the... The spices and how much again, so everybody can write it down. No. Okay. Uh, let me lift this up. Did you want to give any words of wisdom from the stars? Hmm. I don't think that there is any at the moment. Oh, I'm. I'm they, already, they already gave it with the shove and hug. Welcome to the shove and hug academy. Either you shove it or you hug it. Either oh. way, you gotta touch it. We forgot this. <laughs> So for the extra meat, extra meat, if you have any extra meat, you can always just stick it in your refrigerator or since we're just going to stick it in the freezer, right? Because we're not going to be using it for a while, for a little bit. Hmm? Hmm? Or if you want extra meat, just put extra meat in there. <laughs> yeah. There's no... Smell? There's no smell. There's there's um that's interesting. Very oh and I forgot I wanted to add some of this too. Um hmm. there's no taste to it either. Interesting. Hmm. That's why you can add it to smoothies. So you can get your bone broth in smoothies too. Mm, powder collagen. Now this oh has, it does. It's unflavored. This has <laughs> this has raw meat too. I'm going to add a little bit of this, too, guys. Now, that has flavor. Mm -hmm. Chicken. Chicken flavor. Yes. Chicken flavor. I give it a good stock flavor. Now, did you want a celery stick in here? Doesn't. No. Okay. No. I'm going to cook mine with eggs. So, there is a way that you can cook this with, like, a egg drop, like an egg drop soup after you're done making the broth. You let it cook, and after it's done, you take some broth and you stick it in another pot. In another pot, you stick it on the stove, you turn on the heat, no, sorry. <laughs> you turn on the heat to high, and you get it to boiling. After you get it to boiling, you separate your eggs, your yolk in one bowl and your um, egg whites in another. You stir it up, and then you, um, Stir in circular motion the, the broth. Stir in circular motion. And then you slowly pour the egg whites in first. Let that settle. And then you put in the egg, the egg yolks. And then you turn off the heat. Because then it, the, um, the egg yolks start cooking. And then it just, you know, starts floating. It's but tell really good. Yes, oh. it is. I love it. Give them... Um, <laughs> Tell them what your sister does with her eggs because that's good too. And some people it's the same thing. That. She puts it in whole. We were talking. So oh, not that okay. one, but the other one. Okay, so she does um I don't know how she does it. Okay. I've watched her do it, but so she waits for the soup to be really, really, really hot. And then she but it's not boiling. She gently just opens up the, um, the egg and puts it in a bowl and then, or in a ladle, and then drops it in so that it cooks as whole as it can. And then uh, the soup is, is basically done. She leaves, she takes it out or serves it before it gets hard so it's still yolky. Mm. Remember that? Yeah, and then she cuts up lettuce, very thin slices, and that's really good with the soup too. Yes. Lettuce. Iceberg lettuce is the best, but romaine lettuce is more healthy for you. So keep that in mind <laughs> when you have lettuce. <laughs> All right, guys. Love you. Love you. If you have any questions, let us know, and uh, we'll come back and see 
if there's anything to answer. Shalom.